Bonjour, bonjour, breadcrumbs on Shopify. I'll show you how to do it right now. First step is to go to your online store backend, obviously right here, online store, themes, and then you're going to choose the version you're going to work on. Let's say you want to work on your life team, then don't do it. Don't work on your life team. Instead, duplicate your life team. You go to actions right here, duplicate, and work on the duplicate version. That way, if you mess up, you just delete the duplicate version and you haven't messed up your original code base. It's going to save you a lot of headaches, I swear. Also, you know, if you're testing stuff out, maybe not do it on a live team where live traffic comes through, you know. All right, once we have the duplicate right here, we're going to click action and we're going to be editing the code. Okay, on your left right here, you're going to be scrolling down to snippets and you're going to add a new snippet. It will ask you for a name of your brand new snippet and we're going to call it breadcrumbs. Make sure there is no spacing in the front, in the back, no caps, just like that, breadcrumbs. Great, so we just created our new snippet. It's empty, so let's add some codes to that. And ta-da, the code has been added. Now that's it, the code has been added. Now, don't pause the video. I will show you where you can find the code later so that you can just copy paste it. But right now, let's just click on save and keep going. Once we have the breadcrumb snippet created, the snippet is basically a piece of code that you can use anywhere on your website. So we have the breadcrumb logic that we can now use anywhere on our website. We have to sh tell Shopify where to show that breadcrumb. For that, we're gonna scroll all the way up right here and we're going to go to team.liquid. I can't say th, like tree and team, and I keep messing this up. That was completely beside the point. Now we're going to tell Shopify where we want our snippet to actually appear. And basically you can kind of add it where you want it on here. So let's do a couple of trials. What if I want it at the very top, I can, Add it, let's say, uh, right at the top, right here, right before the content for header. Paste. And I save. And let's look at what it looks like. It's right here. Now, not the best place to put a snippet, is it? You know, what if I want to put it on um, somewhere else? So let's actually put it uh, cart pop-up section header. This is um, the header right here. So why don't I put it just below the header right here? Render breadcrumbs and we save. See what that looks like. Oh, that makes more sense. So there we go. Home uh, catalog, you know, one products. It's going to, there you go. Black letter. Figures it out, perfect. So there you go. The last step is then to go to online store and put it live. Actions, and we publish. Now I understand that some people might say, so now it's live. I understand that some people might say, hey, I want this a little bit more to the left, a little bit more to the right. I want a different font. I want it in blue. I want it in red. For that, you're going to need to use some CSS. And you know, that's a little bit outside of the scope from this video because I'm going to spend you know, hours saying how all the different CSS techniques work. You just, in short, put it in a div and apply some CSS to that div. But I'm sure anyone that is a little bit nifty with CSS can help you out at that point. So I hope this was useful. All the code that I've used, you can find it on the link below, which is our blog. You just copy and paste it. You're good to go. Follow me on Twitter at andrew.duro. And thank you so much. See you in another video. Ciao.